Hello, I'm Bruce Leckie. I'm with Drader Manufacturing, and I'm going to show you how to repair this garbage can with the Drader Inject Weld plastic welding equipment. Many thousands of garbage carts like this are repaired every day with the Drader Inject Weld. Garbage can manufacturers usually have an excellent warranty program in place with their customers, but sometimes the garbage cans do break and they're not covered under warranty and they can be repaired, and that's what I'm going to show today. This garbage cart is quite damaged. Normally a cart that is this damaged might not be repaired, but I want to show you what the injecta weld can do. The cart is cracked through the top and there is a piece in the back missing. Two things are being accomplished right now. The welding tip melts into the plastic and molten welding rod is being injected into the weld zone. I am letting the welding rod cool off a bit, then I will trim off the excess weld bead. Now I'm going to weld from the bottom of the crack to this point up here. I have set the Drader Inject Weld's temperature to 265 degrees Celsius. You can see how the tip melts into the plastic. I am going to weld the front side of the damaged cart. You might not see the crack on the video, but it goes right through to the back. It is easy to see the Inject Weld's tip melt into the parent material. Melting plastic at the weld zone is essential to ensure a strong weld. Now I will use the Drader Inject Weld to repair the top of the garbage can. I will start by making a few spot welds to hold the crack together. I cannot weld from both sides here, so I am going to go slowly to ensure that I melt the plastic right down to the root. After trimming the weld bead plush with the cart, I am going to go back and fill in the areas that need refilling. I am going to use the injector weld to make a plastic patch. Normally garbage carts this damage might not be repaired. However, I want to show the ability of the welder. The trick to making effective plastic patches with the injector weld is to make sure the tip comes into contact with at least some part of the parent material. Remember, one has to achieve a melt in order to get a high quality weld. The molten welding rod comes out of the injector weld with enough pressure to ensure that there is good mixing between parent material and welding rod. This is an important point about the injector weld because most plastic welders cannot offer self-regulating pressure. Now I will finish welding the front of the damaged part. The heated tip of the Drader Inject Weld melts into the plastic before it injects molten plastic into the weld zone. The combination of hot tip and proper injection pressure really sets the injector weld apart from other plastic welding systems. I am using the Drader scraper blade to get rid of any welding undercuts. This can add to the strength of the repair. Now to fill in a couple of holes and then we are done. 